right, um, it's been a little while since I've uh, done um, one of these quad videos, but there have been changes. Um, previously, I was testing with a um, a KK um, flight controller, and I had no end of troubles with that. I just couldn't get it calibrated. Um, and what else was wrong with it? Oh yeah, the instructions were completely different from how it behaved. The instructions would say to, for example, swap the gyro gains or to swap the to do gyro reversal. That's what it, what it was. You have to um, put the pitch potentiometer down to zero, then the lead will flash ten times, and I did that, and I found it wasn't happening, and I thought, you know what, this is crazy. Um, so I was reading a lot of good things about the DJI DJI NASA uh, flight controller. So I picked one up, um, and uh, tried, um, and I've connected it all up. Um, that's the um, little gadget there. Um, so I've hooked up to the receiver and got it all connected to the speed controllers and things like that. Um, and uh, yeah, so <laughs> obviously thinking, yeah, I was obviously being a bit premature. I tried it out. Um, I didn't even tie the the, the quad down, and um, you know it, it just just sort of flew off in you know in the room and then just you know smacked into the uh, uh, in, into the television. I was like, oh no, that's not cool. So. Um, so now I've taken the time to calibrate it, do the calibration of the IMU, and um, uh, what else? Uh, oh yes, the um, the gains on the on the gyroscope, which I've now got set via the control, which is pretty cool. And as a precaution, I've um, I've got it on this little table here with a quilt, just in case it does decide to go mad and out of control, and tied down so it can't physically go higher than say just about a foot off the table so um, yeah so and I've just tried it out now with some very interesting results very good results so uh, let's try it out let's try and just turn on the transmitter first shall we so that's what they always say oh no flight control is on manual mode there we go. Now let's turn this on. Okay. Now, let's see if I can do this. Uh, let's see, I'm confident in the in, in enough in the DJI NASA now to uh, hold the camera with one hand and control it with the other. So, let's start up the engine, shall we? Okay, idling away. A little bit more power. Look at that, she hovers. She is hovering. Look at that. A hovering quadcopter. She finally flies. So, let's try a little bit of uh, roll to the left, to the right. Pitch forward, pitch backward, would you look at that? So uh, yeah, that is the DJA NASA, a fantastic flight controller when you calibrate it properly and take the time to do so, and not prematurely just try and plug it in and fly it. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, now that was in, um, it's got two modes. It's got attitude stabilization mode, and it's got manual mode. Um, if I try it out in manual mode, um, if I do that now, it's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. 
it's a little bit more it's, it's a little bit more t twitchy a little bit more there you go but the stability is absolutely incredible Yeah, I'm not going to put my hand in there. I was going to try and press it down. But, um... I'll tell you, the flight stability is fantastic. Okay, let's shut down. So, uh... Yeah, I think that's a successful test on an indoor testing table. Um, so the next test <laughs> is going to have to be outside in a big field. And uh, let's hope we don't have a repeat of the last episode. <laughs>